Well, 2019, you dropped your sixth album, Views from the General's Helmet. Mm -hmm. And is that when you started calling, calling yourself Rap God? No, no, no. I started calling myself Rap God right after Chirac dropped. Which was what 2014. Year? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um, but at what point did other rappers really start to respond to the whole rap god thing and so forth? I feel like that came later on. Yeah, I think, um, I don't even think people really responded to the rap god thing. I think people more so responded to me saying I'm the best rapper or something, or people saying I'm the best well, out of Chicago. Best rapper in Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. That came 2020, I think, when you said that? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 2020. Okay. And, um... Yeah, and that was because I gave my opinion on who I think the best is out of Chicago now, like as of recent years, like this generation. And, and who, it was who some, would that be? It was some people like Polo G, okay, um, Young Pappy, like them was the one I, mm. you know, the the most. If I fuck with Pappy super hard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, you know, I ain't spoke on them two. Like them two that stood out the most to me. I feel like they really been working on their craft, and you know, I respect their mind as a as a lyricist, you know, and um. And it was just people that just, uh, yeah, you know, you feel disrespect to him mention your name. Like, if I got a fucking top five, how am I going to mention all y'all names in Chicago? Like, and it's not, you got your top five. I don't got a problem with who the fuck is in your top five, whether I'm in it or not. But it's some people that's like, they already don't like you. So it's like, oh, here's a here's a way I can step in. Or I can step in and say this right here. You know, you got people, like I seen the, um, the uh, post of a, uh, Albert Einstein, when he writes on the chalkboard, nine times one equals nine, nine times two equals 18, all the way to nine times 10. And when he gets to nine times 10, it says nine times 10 equals 91. Mm -hmm. He said all the uh, students laughed at him and ridiculed him about it, and he waited till they got quiet. And he said, y'all didn't say nothing about the success of my first nine answers, but you pointed out my one mistake that I made on the 10th, you know, and you ridiculed me about it and laughed, you know? He said, that's how the society is. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're looking for that one mess up or one thing to make you look like you're not perfect so they could, you know, be happy about it and celebrate about it and, and point it out to everybody. Hey, look, y'all, he's not as great as we, you know, as y'all thought he was, or blah, 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 blah. He's not better than me because even I knew nine times 10 is 90. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's the world that we live in. Once you understand that hate or people down talking, you wouldn't bother you so much. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just everybody's not going to agree with you. Everybody's not always, you know, so you can't be tiptoeing, running, walking around on eggshells because you're trying to get everybody to like you. That's fucking possible. All right, because I think last year you said something like, uh, whoever writing for Cardi B would be listening to me real closely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard a couple of lines um, from the, you know, the Chirac song that blew me up. Uh, you know, I whack a bitch, walk away with blood on my shoes, that's red bottoms. Then she blew up with the song, uh, some red bottoms that's them bloody shoes and it's like okay and I like it you know what I'm saying but I see where it's you know what I'm saying it's the same punch you know what I'm saying same metaphor and then I think the other line was um, uh, I forgot their line but I said something about um, something about cat dog you a pussy and a bitch something about cat dog some shit I forgot the delivery but um, oh uh, and you a track star uh, 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 uh. You a pussy and a bitch, nigga, cat dog. That's what I, that was the line. But they did some shit like that. Um, the wordplay, but it was like it was the same delivery, but it was like a different character. You know what I'm saying? It's like that was dope. So it's like whoever they listen to me closely, I said that. But it's like it was not no hate. I fuck with Cardi. We both follow each other on the gram, stuff like that. But you know, I just I pay attention to detail when writing and being artistic and the craft and different maneuvers and formats and things like that. So I just, I see, I see it in there. Yeah. I mean, but as content creators, I remember me and Too Short had a conversation about this mm -hmm. on camera. It's like you, you come up with the shit and you put it out there mm -hmm. and you kind of expect people to fuck with it if mm -hmm. it's dope. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. look at how many people bit Too Short from the biatch to, right. you know, his whole cadence to the whole pimp thing and everything. I had like so many people have taken the Vlad TV blueprint and mm -hmm. ran with it, and mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Like I'm gonna take it today. No, you know, you know what I mean, but but like similar, like right. the same font, the same interview style, like the same intros, right. like. But it's like, yo, it's cool, man. We put mm -hmm. it out the for the world right. to fuck with it, exactly. and if they fuck with it, great. Right. I'll come up with some new shit. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying, and that's just the, the reality of it. You know, you come up with dope shit, and other people will gravitate towards right. it. You know what I mean? 